what we need in medicine are new medications, new therapies with improved risk profile. There's been a push to understand how to develop other better, safer, less addictive or zero addictive uh, potential medications or therapeutics for pain management. For strong pain, drugs like ibuprofen or aspirin are just not strong enough. Opioids are strong enough, but they have the problem of tolerance development and addiction. So the promise of an NAV 1.7 inhibitor would be that we have something that is as effective as an opioid, but not addictive. Spiders and scorpions have billions of years of evolution, optimizing peptide and protein and small molecule poisons in their venoms which we can take advantage of because the same venoms that can cause pain and neurological dysfunction can also help nerves work better and reduce pain. If you want to prevent a pain signal from traveling up, for example, from your leg, from your diabetic foot to your brain, sodium channels are really what you want to go for. It turns out that tarantula toxin that binds to sodium channels binds in a unique way to paralyze their victims uh, and, you know, serve as lunch. Most venoms are a combination of, of poisons. And if you separate out these poisons, they do different things. And in some cases, these poisons actually are beneficial. In motor neurons, and may affect. The thing that's going on with Vladimir's project that's so exciting is to take a specific poison and then to modify it using modern computational techniques and then peptide synthesis to design it to reduce pain in a very, very specific channel in humans that is associated very much with the pain sensation. Using Rosetta software, we can take natural peptide, like peptide from tarantula, and then redesign it to make it into potential therapeutic in the future. We allow computer to make suggestions for us. Do we select the best suggestions based on multiple different criteria. Uh, and then those peptides we synthesize and ultimately test in the lab. Based on our preliminary testing, our lead peptides already show efficacy uh, at the level of morphine, but no side effects uh, of opioids. What Vladimir has put together is really fantastic because no one scientist could have any hope of tackling a project that is this hard. But having the collection of people that you've met today makes it fun and exciting, and I think gives us a real chance of relieving pain.